Our LEGO Ideas project hit 10,000 supporters. Thank you everyone so, so much. If you've supported the project, tried to support the project, or even just watched the video that helped it spread to more people. So thank you so much for that. And uh, in this video, I'm just going to talk about um, the, the what comes next, what are the competition that this set has in the review period coming up, and uh, t talk about my personal opinions of them. So we've got the Robotic Mech Factory, the LEGO Ideas project that hit 10,000 supporters today. And we got this official Lego comment on it, so that's kind of cool. It says, congratulations on 10,000 supporters. Uh, it's now moving on to the review phase. So it's not a guarantee that this gets made into a Lego set now. It still has to get reviewed and compared to some of the other projects that have 10K. So we'll see how that goes. But it says, what happens now? So it has to um, meet with a review board composed of designers, product managers, and other key team members who all see this thing, which is crazy to think about. And they're going to build concept models of this, amazing, and determine if the concepts meets their high standards of what it takes to be a LEGO product, like Hulkbuster. This includes factors such as playability, very playable, we've got a mech you can build yourself in a factory with a working conveyor belt, that is, if that's not playable, I don't know what is. <laughs> and we've got uh, safety, I think this is very safe, maybe you can get your fingers caught in the belt and these are kind of pokey, but you know, it doesn't have any guns or any violence or any anything like that. It's a very PG topic. Um, and it fits with the LEGO brand. Oh, it definitely fits with the LEGO brand. As I said, they love this color scheme. They love their mechs. And it literally matches like other figures. So I think it fits with the LEGO brand pretty well. The review period begins in May of 2023. So a few months from now, or two, I guess. Oh, wow. <laughs> Time is flying. But the qual it qualifies for the first 2023 review. All the projects that re reach 10,000 supporters between early January and May 2023. Uh, you can look at more guidelines there, and they go through a process of um, usually like one or two of them from like 40 get chosen to be sets, which is kind of scary to think about. But once we review the complete, uh, it's yeah, blah, 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 blah. all right. And then the longest phase of the project is the development phase. So even if it gets chosen, it's still going to be like over a year at least before it gets like released in stores because they do have to design it and that takes a long time. They have to go through a budget and all that. Um, to answer a few questions, I don't know how much it will cost. I don't know how many pieces we'll have because that is going to be decided in the design phase. They're going to completely remake this because I don't, I'm not going to send them instructions. I didn't make instructions, so that's another thing. I don't have instructions for that. Um, based on these pictures and the designs and these very detailed blueprints, um, they will make that concept model, and if it gets uh, moved on to the next phase, they'll make more models and officially instructions themselves. And uh, yeah, it could be an official LEGO set in store someday. But it has some pretty stiff competition. So here's ours, and then we've got Bluey again. It's got some cool buildable figures, kind of like the Mario ones. I like this one. This one, some elephant fountain thing, it looks cool. All these, I'm going to say right off the bat, they all look great. They all use amazing techniques, either with renders or their own pieces. I love all these. I wish all of them could be made, but only a few of them can. So I'm obviously rooting for ours, but I'll try to give my honest but considerate comments about each of these really quick here. So the elephant one, I think is very specific to a, a very specific part of the world, so maybe not a great fit for a set. The Scream, amazing as always. The, this is very similar to the, the Starry Night one though, so I don't know if they would do two painting sets under the Ideas Umbrella. Maybe though. This one, I don't really like modular, but this is this is a good modular. I do like the curve, the windows and all that. Ours is a very boxy building, so hey, this fits right in with this. Shrek, I like the interior of this one uh, a little bit better than the other. There's actually two Shrek projects in this review period, which is going to be funny. But uh, I, I like the other ones minifigs and maybe overall design a little bit better but this one I love the interior and of course they've got the, the central cast which is great um, next up is the portal quantum tunneling device I don't think this will I don't think they're gonna do like a big I guess they did Sonic but like this is a, it was a big video game but it, this is like a life-sized gun kind of thing is it a gun tunneling device they don't like to do life-sized weapons so eh, maybe not I don't know Twilight Cullen House, I've never seen whatever, but like it's maybe an accurate depiction of what it looks like in the movie. It's also very boxy. I think I like the modern one a little bit better. It's not connected to a property though, so maybe that doesn't have as good of a chance as this one. Where's Wally slash Waldo? I call it Waldo in the US, but that might be a little bit difficult to market if <laughs> you can't print multiple boxes for that. But like this has six different layouts to, uh, based on six different books. The characters of Wally -E and Waldo and this guy, I don't know. But you can actually play Where's Waldo with the little micro figs in there. I love the idea. 
it might seem a little bit random, but like it, it all has a purpose. So I don't I don't know if the the first impression is too random that it might not have a good chance. But I I would personally like this as a set. Um, but I would not really like this as a set. I don't know. It looks cool. I like the silhouette of the whale. I do like the layers of the different colors. These are great colors, by the way, and the diver. But like. I don't know what I would do with this, <laughs> to be fair. It's just like a display piece, which some of them can be display pieces. That's fine, like the Starry Night, but uh, not for me. This one, though, <laughs> Shrek. They've got to do a Shrek idea set, right? They've got two in the, support, uh, the review period. I don't know which one they would choose. This one's probably my overall favorite with, like, the minifigs. Obviously, they would do their own minifigs. Well, like, this is the overall design. I like the nougat rather than, like, the dark brown of this other set. But, you know, both of them are great. This one, though, Lego Central Station. It's a very Lego-specific thing. I love the design for the roof, the sand green, and all the brick texture down below. But uh, I don't know if they would sell this as like a, a set to the masses. If they could do this as like a Lego Land exclusive, they would never do. They've never done that before, but they could. So I would like that, and like that would free up spaces for other stuff. So hey, maybe. This one is so funny. I didn't know that this stand was actually Lego, but if you look closer, all those are different pieces. So I don't know how they would connect a light bulb to it. That might make it a little bit difficult to sell right off the bat because I, you can't really use light bricks. Those aren't very bright. So you have to use actual electricity or a battery. I, just, I love the idea that translucent pieces here look great. The light shines through them amazingly. It's just that it's kind of impractical to expect people to... Uh, include either include their own light bulbs or what so I don't know if that would make it or not ET kind of the same deal with the uh, starry night situation they've already done a painting like this and I, I'm personally not a fan this I'm not the right audience for like a display piece and this is more of like the nostalgia for ET rather than like a play set they already have an ET from Lego dimensions which never stopped Sonic so it, it could happen I, I love the iconic circle moon bike scene but other than that, I don't know. It is a staff pick. Some of these are just randomly staff picks. I don't know what that means. They, when they were gathering support, the staff like put them high on the page. So the, I don't know if that determines their decision going forward or not. But do you know what would is this amazing multi-tool. It's a brick separator like my project, actually, and one more coming up. But they rejected one last time where like, it's like break glass if you want to open the brick separator. So... I don't know if they would do this. I, I, just, I love the idea of like a Swiss Army knife, but with Lego tool. This is actually be like super useful too with the brick separator and always have it on hand. But moving on, we've got the botanical garden. This is just so beautiful. Inside, there's lots of luscious plants and flowers. They've got like all sorts of leaf details, and the, I just love the design. The eggs, all the curved, clear window pieces. Oh, this would be great. I, they. We always say like, oh, they don't they don't do big buildings that could be modular modular buildings. I don't think this could be modular. I don't think my building could be modular either. So maybe it has a chance. We'll see. This unfortunately I don't think has a chance. The Riverside Lodge looks so beautiful. I love the waterfall and the rock work on the side. The trees are great. I love the techniques. They actually figure out how to do a log cabin with like the log sideways. I could never do that with my stick house for Winston the Wolf. But the roof is great. But they just did the A-frame cabin, and that was more of like the rustic kind of locale. So I don't know. That will be still on shelves when this is reviewed, and so I don't think it has any chance at all, which is so sad. Hopefully they can re-submit it at some point. And 10,000 supporters is really hard to get, especially if you don't have a YouTube audience. But I would love to see this one get another chance someday. But this one, uh, Bricks Coffee, I I love the design. I just don't really like the idea. Honestly, like a big massive coffee shop I, I'm not a coffee person so having this much space dedicated to it just I don't know I love the vines though the great vines up top the de design looks great if this could be something other than a coffee shop hey <laughs> maybe it almost looks like a winery but they can't do winery because that's Lego so <laughs> they have the grapes up top I could see this being a winery but you know it, it can't be so eh, maybe not but next up is the Brick Boulevard. This is amazing. I love the design of like the, the yellow and orange buildings on the right and the jut outs on the, the green brick building. Oh, it's great. Brick Boulevard would probably be have to change. This is very modular like those. I don't know if they would do it because they they like to have their modulars be separate from ideas. So I I don't know if it would work or not. Hopefully though. This one though, I think this is this is a better chance than the Riverside Lodge. This is the Ogle Creek Sawmill. Let me know what Ogle means in the comments down below if you can figure that out. But I love the spinning wheel, obviously. I, I probably inside has some mechanism. Can we go inside? I, 
I don't want to spend too much time on all this, but... Oh, that's so cool! <laughs> so much stuff is spinning! Oh, I love this so much! I'm glad I saw this. Oh, wow. The Ogle Creek Sawmill has yeah the same problem as the A-frame, or the, the Riverside, as, like, they just did the A-frame rustic kind of thing. This has kind of fallen apart, but they could do, like, a more modern style, maybe, sawmill. I think that would be great. This one, unfortunately, I don't think is happening at all. This is Claws Toys. They only do one, like, holiday, winter village, Christmas set per year. And so having an idea set that you'd only sell around Christmas time, I don't think that's something they want to do, unfortunately. I love the reindeer antlers on the side. With I never noticed that the first time I looked through these. But, yeah, the brickwork on the side is great. Obviously, Santa, the figures are great. We've got the farmer girl here for the horse and groom, I guess. But, yeah, it, it's a cool building. It's just not going to happen at all. The Iron Giant by Haki Roku. I love his mocks on YouTube, including this one. I love his design for the Iron Giant. Another kind of movie like E.T. where it's, like, old and before my time, kind of. I did watch it when I was very, very young and don't remember a whole lot about it. But I remember it looked like this, and I like that. It's kind of got the same base as, like, the Tall Neck set. So I could see that this happening. He already has a set with uh, the Bugs, I think. They did, like, the smaller set, so... Um, that's never stopped. I think J.K. Brickworks has a couple sets under his belt, but uh, yeah, I would I would like to see this as a set. But it's like a mech, so you know, you know, if they're doing a mech set, yeah, there's maybe a, a different alternative set. Stargate, I know nothing about it. There's another one later on that I don't really know. I don't have an opinion on which one is better, but I, I like the look of this. I, what is Stargate? I don't know. Brooklyn Nine Nine. Uh, they just did the Office set, and they've well, they've done a lot of this sitcom y American television show sets, so maybe they would do this one too. I think The Office is much more popular than Brooklyn Nine Nine. Uh, I like the pool table. <laughs> the, the the floor pattern is good. I think I, this is probably very accurate to the show, but I don't have any attachment to that. So uh, if this does happen, like all the other ones, I'll just pass it up. And I think some of them haven't been selling very well, so maybe they wouldn't want to do this. I don't know. But you know what they might want to do is the Amethyst Geode. I love like the little geode, like the Lego piece on the side here. And you can actually break it open, it's hinge at the side. So this could this could maybe have it'd be kinda of hard to make instructions for it. Because like it's very detailed on the sides and very beautiful. Like all the transparent purple on the inside. <laughs> it's just like Minecraft, basically. But uh it's I don't know. It'd be kinda of hard to market that as a set. In just my opinion. I love the look of it, but eh, maybe not the best set material. Oh, this is, they're doing this. <laughs> they love white NASA spaceships, and this is this is like a spaceman, so they, they're definitely doing this one. <laughs> Never gonna give you up, by the way. But this one is has another one with CMFs in it. Um, this, I should probably say, like, it won't have the CMFs in my set if it gets, like, made into a set, and they probably won't have this exact CMF if this B one gets into made into a set. There's three Bs on the top, though. I love that part about it. But they would probably modify the design. They might keep the piece and then change the printing of the, the face and body. But they they're, they they want to keep the CMFs unique. So my set, this set, any other set that uses CMFs as like a stand-in, um, they would just replace them with their own design. <clears throat> but I like how the, the little minifig vignettes are honeycomb shaped as their base plate. And then the bee like honey hive thing is made with a bunch of Technic and all that. I kind of like the bee things better than the, the big... This is more a human scale, and these are minifig scale, so I don't know, I, they've done like, what, two Minecraft sets and the CMF? Maybe they would, like, leave it at three B products for LEGO, and maybe this one would make it, but I don't know, it could. The Kinetic Baby Green Sea Turtle. I don't know how this moves, but I love all the different unique pieces for coral at the bottom, like gears and fish and leaves, all that. I love the shaping of the shell. And it's supposedly supposed to move. I could never figure out how it worked looking at the pictures. But uh, they've rejected kinetic sculptures in the past. I don't know if they would ever do a kinetic sculpture. I guess the factory is kind of kinetic because it has the, the, motor, the move, but that's not necessary. So eh, maybe, maybe not. That would be very difficult. Like the, the Avatar way the water sets have some coral, but like a lot more toned down. Than that. Well, <laughs> I should be talking in terms of over detailing. Obviously, the factory is very, very detailed and maybe too detailed in some places. So they would tone it down if this got chosen, if ours got chosen. So we'll just have to see. But next up is Dr. Seuss and Lego. These are kind of similar to the uh, pop-up book sets and like the Harry Potter. I think they have book sets too now. But I don't know if they would do that because of that fact. But I love like the Thing one. 
Thing 2, Cat and Hat, Lorax. Their Grinch is very good. I like the printing. Obviously, the printing is custom, so it's better than ours. But like the Lorax. I don't know if we want a Lego Onceler in the world. That would make kind of frightening. But um, it, it's great. I, I think Cat and Hat or Dr. Seuss got canceled, or maybe a few of the books did. Maybe they want to stay away from controversy like that. But these are pretty safe picks as books to do. Cat and Hat, Grinch, Lorax. So you know what? It's probably like I would like the, I think I would like the Wally the Waldo one better in terms of like kids books but hey this one would be equal too this one I'm not really a train guy so I can't really speak much about it but I like all the gold pieces on it they would probably not do all that gold but hey it looks cool as a model <laughs> this another Stargate one I don't know anything about it I like how this one is brick built more so it looked like than the other one was just like a print or something this one has more of like the frame around it and the minifigs aren't as unique I guess in this one. So, uh, maybe, what are these random pieces on the side? I, I don't know what's going on at all. So I'm just going to swiftly move on to Howl's Moving Castle. Big uh, anime fan here. I've never seen this. I don't know what it's supposed to be. But I do like the, the brick separator things. So, maybe another moving thing. So, uh, is this one better or the turtle better? I might like the turtle better because it's, it's not anime. <laughs> Nothing against anime, but I, I don't know if it has the widest appeal. Maybe I'm wrong for saying, I don't know. They did like the BTS set, and that's basically anime, right? I, I should stop talking and move on to the comic store. So this has a candy shop and a comic shop. Both are very, like, they look like, this looks like a modular set. In that, in that case, I don't think they would do this because they want to do modulators have their own unique thing. So it looks cool. I like the tree design, but it probably won't happen, unfortunately. This one definitely happening. It's a spaceship. So <laughs> like the gold satellite things. I do like the shaping of all the panels, um, but I don't know. There you go. This one would be a great tribute to uh, the late Queen Elizabeth, but it'd be like two or three years late, unfortunately. But like all the little jeweled diamond pieces in the side are great. It might be a little too repetitive, though. It'd probably have to include like several hundred of these things to make this. But but the middle is the biggest thing. It's like a cloth middle, so you you can't. It's not Lego. I I don't know. It just feels like a Lego frame around a real crown, and I don't know. You could wear it, which is cool, but it just I don't think it's very applicable. <laughs> I don't know. But it's a piece of history, so you, you got to respect it. Daft Punk. I love all the chrome pieces. Don't know anything about it, so they probably wouldn't do it just because it requires all these chrome pieces, or they do just like make it really ugly, like the Infinity Gauntlet. So. Uh, Maybe we could not do this. I don't know. Godzilla, I love, like, all. there's no gaps here. They, they did a really good job of filling in all the spaces with different building techniques. Might be really hard to build, though. I don't like how this thing is there. It, it, the tail is so heavy, it, you can't support itself. So, just that fact alone, I I don't like this as a concept. It, it's like I like Godzilla. I wish it was a like, green, like the CMF. But like all the horns are all gnarly and on the back. I love that. But just like the stand, you, you gotta have it to stand on its own. And this one can't. So I don't really, not a fan of that part of it. But this one, Hollow Knight, a kind of niche video game. Uh, so I don't think they would do it. I like the platform. That's basically all you get. Some of the build different characters. A spider. I, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Monsters, Inc. Uh, I like the door. It's like way bigger than it needs to be, I think. I guess, like, the lap canisters are kind of to scale, and those are, like, the 2 by 2 round bricks, but, like, does it need to be this big? I could think you could do a nice smaller set with this and maybe have some room for some other ideas. I don't know. But they could always make it smaller, I guess. I, I like the flowers and the door. The characters are great. Mike Wazowski's using, like, a Minions piece. Uh, Sully has big, thick arms and, like, a brick-filled body. And then there's Boo, and then the, the Luxo Ball. Is that in the up set? The... Pixar ball maybe but they are doing Pixar sets now with up and they got the big Disney 100 celebration this year so I don't know if they would want to do an idea set for Pixar or that would be later I don't know I guess obviously Toy Story oh, Toy Story 5 why are they doing that anyways I'm sorry I like this idea I don't know if they would do it with like the, the Disney the Disney thing well they like doing Disney things like the Hocus Pocus and Nightmare Before Christmas so this this has a chance I just don't know how much this one Settlers of Catan um, I'm not a huge fan of, like, the circles in this one. I like, there was one previously that got rejected that, like, actually had the hexagon-shaped pieces. So I like that one better. But obviously, if any Catan set would be made, it would be great. 
Um, we've got all the different pieces that you can actually play a game with. I just love that as a concept. We have we had Lego games as a, a theme with these dice that, that introduced, but um, yes, please. I, I like a Catan set. I don't know about like, this one specifically, if you could be more hexagonal. I guess they could always change that in the official design, but yeah. But the last one on this list is the Medieval Seaside Market. This one is very medieval, kind of like the Blacksmith Shop, kind of like the Lion's Night Castle. So if, just because of that, I don't know if they would do it. But I really like the ship's dock design, and there's got a, cage, a pig in a cage with a cat tormenting him. I don't know what that's about. A little market here. I, I really like it, but unfortunately, yeah, the color scheme is nice. Just the, the lions on the top there, and they just did the Lion's Night Castle, and this is just very similar to that. And just like to the, the average eye. So those are my brutal opinions. I'm so sorry. All these designs are great. They look amazing. But I'm just trying to think about like objectively which would be a set. And it's hard to say, to be honest. Because LEGO Ideas have definitely had some curveballs in the past. As I said, like these painting ones, they've already done them. So I don't know if they do them again. There's no real rhyme or reason to which ones they choose. Obviously the BTS one, they knew it would sell like hotcakes. So... Uh, that's a whole different story, but uh, yeah, I think ours has a decent chance compared to all these ones I'm really happy with how the cover art turned out just like compared to all these ones I think it stands out obviously as you we saw before they would go in and actually make models of all these and wow Just to think of all the like testing that goes behind the ideas theme. That's really cool I'm I'm really honored to have all you guys support this project and be a part of this list So we'll see come May if we get chosen or not um, I think I get like a gift card with like, the Lego, even if I don't get picked. So that'd be kind of cool. But uh, obviously, I would prefer it to become a set. So we'll see how that works out. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Let me know which project of these is your favorite. Which do you think would be the best to become a Lego set? Try to think of it in objective terms, not obviously like how they look, because they all look great. But uh, thank you for watching. Stick around till May to find out if this becomes an official Lego set or not. Until then, 